Right, so we're on top of the machine now, and from here we have access to a few things. I can access my engine compartment by lifting up the protective panel. And then from here I have access to my engine block if I need to have a look at any maintenance points, my hydraulic tank, my coolant tank, and I can also see my DPF burn-off filter here as well. So again, if I need to carry out any maintenance intervals on the machine, or also when I'm blowing down the machine, keeping it nice and clean, this gives me better access to the engine in the hull. Additionally, if I've just carried out maintenance on my engine, but I want to get into my grain tank, I now have better access for that on our new Lexium machines. All I have to do is have this side panel down, and then flicking the side latch, I can actually raise the tank lid section or the engine cover section separately to that of the main lid. This then gives me step access onto the top and into the tanks. So on top of the machine, we can also see our main clean grain elevator. This is taken from the grain from the elevator itself and up into the tank. Now, if we had a grain quality camera spec, this is also where you would see that camera. This is the camera which, if we have the likes of CMOS automatic spec, we can see our sample coming through the clean grain elevator and is then displayed on the CBUS menu. Right, so we're inside the grain tank now. We've now got access to this via our steps down into the tanks. So we don't have to worry about any access like we used to on the older machines. From here, we can see that we've also got additional adjustment baffle plates on our cross augers moving across the tank. So these cross augers are what feeding our main auger for unloading. But if we find that in certain conditions we need to raise or lower these augers, so depending on crops, maybe we're cutting the likes of grass seed or slower moving crops, I can then adjust the baffle plates up and down according to how my crop flow varies. As well as that, we can also see our larger back window on the back of the cab. Now from here, we can turn these side flaps and we can actually move the window forward so that we can get at the pane of glass for cleaning it if it becomes dirty. And also, we can see our tank sensors mounted to the tank itself. So you can see the various sensors, whether it be the 50% sensor, the 75% sensor, or the 100% sensor. These are the sensors which are registering to our CBUS to tell us how full our tank is. Also, we've got our GPS dome mounted inside the tank lids as well. So depending on your GPS system, if you do or don't have it, you'll see this dome fitted. Also from inside the tank, we can see our panelling where our quantimeter sits. Now, the quantimeter doesn't require any adjustment outside. All it needs is adjustment or calibration through the CBIS menu itself. But it's just worth noting that underneath this panel is where our quantimeter system is located.